Around 10,000 Pakistanis live here in Ireland. Satellite news has at times been the only link to their hometowns. Mazar has family in three provinces, their livelihoods and homes destroyed. They are built by mud, many houses, and with this water they have gone. They have no shelter there. They are living in open sky. Irfan's family is in a South Punjab village, next to a river about to burst its banks. If they break that bank, then my village could be going underwater as well. I spoke to my brother, he said in one college where I used to study, they have 900 people. When you see this, basically, when you hear, it's really painful. The Pakistan Muslim League is hoping to raise money to help. There's no insurance system over there. Just like you, if you compare the flood in, in Ireland, there was an insurance system. People, when, when there was a flood, after that, they get something. But right now, in Pakistan, after flood, they won't get anything. We have started our work, and hopefully we will get something out of it, inshallah. And uh, hopefully we will raise some money and send back to their and disaster areas soon. At the headquarters of Aid Agency Concern, the aim is to raise 5 million euro. The immediate needs are food, water and shelter, but also today I've just received a report of an assessment done in one of the districts that Concern will be working in, in Charsada, where 100% of the crops have been destroyed by this floods. So in a few months' time we're going to be facing serious food insecurity. The worry now is for those who won't leave, staying in isolated villages, hoping the floods will recede.